Hi, this is Michelle from Life School, and today I'm gonna to go over how to make a turkey breast at home. This is a very simple method. We're just gonna be roasting it. And what we'll have at the end is roasted turkey breast that can be used in many different ways. For sandwiches, you can also put it in grain bowls or salads as a main course. Um, you can put it in soups. You can store it for later in the freezer. There's practically unlimited ways to use up turkey breast. Now, why is it worth making a breast and not the whole bird, you may wonder? Well, there's one main reason, and that is temperature control. What happens when you cook a whole bird is that you have to cook the breast longer than it needs to be cooked. Because dark meat takes longer to cook and needs a higher temperature to be cooked through, oftentimes the turkey breast ends up sort of dry and tough, and basically overcooked. So by cooking the breast alone, we avoid this problem. The first step to doing this is to dry brine the turkey. And I actually did this last night. It took about 30 seconds. I unwrapped the turkey, pat it dry with a little paper towel and sprinkle salt on. And you'll want to use about a half a teaspoon of salt per pound of turkey. The next step here is we're going to make a quick compound butter and we're just going to chop up a bunch of herbs and put it in the butter. This is a little mixed bouquet of herbs that I bought. It's rosemary, thyme, and sage, but you can use uh, tons of different herbs and those will be also linked in this lesson. So all you have to do here is just scooch some of the leaves off of these woody stems and then we're gonna chop it up and mix it with the butter and rub it all over the turkey. We're gonna save the leftovers in this ice cube tray and we can use that for many different items including soups, omelets, you can even spread it on some sandwiches. Compound butter is an incredible hack um, and it's just great to have some in your freezer. And now we're just gonna smoosh it into the butter to make the compound butter. So the next step is just to lather up this turkey with some butter. I'm gonna just take a big hunk, I think this is enough, and we're gonna slather it on. Now, it's extra delicious if you put it under the skin, so just get in there. And this is really gonna help keep the turkey moist. It's gonna give it some extra flavor. You really can't go wrong with butter. The oven's been preheating to 450 degrees, so it'll go in at 450 and get a little extra browned and crisp, but we're gonna turn the oven down to 350 as soon as it goes in, so it'll cook at that temperature, which will uh, let it be a little more moist and juicy and not risk being overcooked or dried out. So we've just roasted a turkey and have a lot of extra compound butter. What we're gonna do is just put this into the ice cube tray and put it in the freezer and then we will have amazing compound butter cubes for at least a couple weeks or until they get used up. You just spread it on in. I personally like using trays with a lid so that they don't get freezer burnt. And then we're just gonna pop this in the fridge for a couple of hours. It's been about an hour, so let's go check on the turkey. What we're looking for here is 155 degrees in the absolute center. One, 51, 146. So this is not yet cooked through. We're gonna put it in and set a timer for about 10 more minutes. One thing you can do to make sure it's extra moist is baste the turkey a bit. So all this means is taking a spoon and tilting the dish and spooning a little bit of this hot fat and oil over the turkey. And this will just help it reabsorb a little more juice. All right, let's do one final check. The turkey must be ready by now. The temperature that we're looking for is 155 in the absolute center. And it looks like we're just about exactly there. All right, great. So we're gonna let this rest, and in about 30 minutes, we'll come back and slice it up. The turkey has now rested for about 30 minutes, and we're going to attempt to carve it. This is not my strong suit. I'm still definitely practicing, but the short of it is we're gonna take it out of the dish and save these juices. These juices can be used in many different ways. One very common way is to make gravy, but I don't wanna deal with it right now, so we're just pouring it into this jar and going to save it for later. So we're just gonna take a little slice to have a taste. And it's great. Moist, delicious, will be perfect in a sandwich. 
It's a little hot to handle right now, um, but I'll carve it up, save some for a meal, maybe dinner tonight or lunch tomorrow, a little more for some sandwiches, and the rest will be sliced up and put in Tupperware and saved in the freezer. You can save it in the freezer for about two to three months. So I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching and best of luck. Don't tell my mother, but I'm gonna eat the skin. Mm.